2020, January 13th. That's my uh, recovery date. And what I wanna say about this journey, it's a montage of different things that I've been able to celebrate in recovery. I've done so many things and it's all about different pathways. This is Bob, my first peer support. Yes, hey Bob, Woo! And his wasn't about, his is about recovery and it was grief. It wasn't about alcohol or drugs. Um, he changed the way I looked at everything. So um, that's why I became a certified peer um, support specialist. <laughs> so Bob's birthday was amazing. Once in a lifetime you find a friendship like him and I am that lucky person. Um, he has taught me so much. I became a certified peer support specialist because of him. So he's my first person that I worked with. And then I go into Drew, who's my first person that uh, asked me to become a sponsor. Drew DeMars. I am going to be in a documentary about addiction. He uh, came to me at a meeting one time and it just, something clicked and it seemed right. And here we are, he's now my sponsor. And bluntly honest, I was, I was intoxicated at the time and I just, I've had enough of it. I've been pretty close to rock bottom. I've never fully been there, but it's just something I, I'm gonna lose everything if I don't quit. and. Uh, or I'm gonna end up like, my, I just lost a buddy to it. Um, I had a buddy going away for five years in jail because of it. I mean, it's any one of these paths that I could be in and I really don't want to be. I want to be there for my kids, my wife, and a lot for myself. Um, come here. I can't wait to have you in this. Hey, this is Drew, and Drew is gonna have recovery and I really believe in that. That's that bottom line, the yes, only sir. thing that I know I absolutely know what happened. That's what recovery looks like. And now you see something for the virtual peer support network. Um, I do that part time um, so I can stay connected to mental wellness because I'm a certified peer support specialist um, and I work with people with lived experiences um, and I call it mental wellness. Um, language matters, so that's one of the things I talk about all the time. And uh, you'll see about my um, certificate with Minnesota Recovery Connection shortly, about the uh, stuff I do with them. But uh, without uh, any of this happening, um, I gotta say, I've achieved a lot that I never thought I could achieve. Hey, without my recovery, I wouldn't have uh, be able to do the uh, Rise Up Hour um, every Sunday at 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the journey of recovery. This is my pathway I've taken. So be it loud and proud. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is what happens. It's pretty amazing. So um, I'm blessed, and uh, I'm, I'm glad I get to be a microphone for others to understand that pathways go in many different directions, and, uh, and you get recovery out of it. So for those uh, out there, um, it's amazing to have choices. Um, there's not one pathway that works. I've chosen many different ones and uh, it's gotten me to this and I have recovery all the time. And give us a voice. But Minnesota Recovery has taught me all pathways. I volunteer with them for multiple things. I do uh, TSR calls, um, call people just to check how they're doing. They also have free recovery coaches there, um, services. They um, also have all these things you're gonna find out about. Our job isn't to tell you what's right or wrong in recovery. It's to help you have that confidence to um, follow a pathway that's working for you. So, um, yeah, I think a lot of times people don't realize that there really is no wrong door to recovery. And if you've been challenged by a particular program or really struggling, um, more support is better. You know, it's not an either or that try something else, try something in addition. Um, whatever works, there's no wrong door. It's a uh, housing is a form of recovery pathway? Yes. Yeah. 
Because without housing, you can't have recovery sometimes. No, it's a basic human right. It's a basic need. <laughs> Everybody needs housing. We teach that recovery is for everyone. We follow all pathways. We meet people where they're at. And the pathway that you want to have in recovery is the pathway that you choose. So not one pathway works. You know what? If I just followed one pathway, I might not be sitting today here today. So I've followed many pathways. I did traditional programs, but now I'm a gardener extraordinaire because that's the pathway that I choose. As well as I cook, I visit my friends, I talk to people. So any pathway that somebody wants to uh, follow for their recovery is a good pathway. Matthew and Colin got to me. Two parts of my life. When everything was going wrong, they thought I was doing financial exploitation on Matthew and tried to come up with everything to tear us apart. Um, and because his dad, uh, they wanted to say he had mental wellness issues. Um, yeah, he did. He was a savant, a genius, amazing, and he got to work for me. What a blessing. And uh, he continued to believe in me no matter what they did to tear us apart. And they said Matthew and I would never be together again. Well, there's what happens in recovery. I have Matthew and I have Colin and stepbrother and stepbrother got to me. My name is Mahana. I'm in long-term recovery. And in recovery, you can have everything. Everything you see, you can have. Um, you can regain everything that you've lost. All of that has been lost. I get to rebuild a future. I get to see again. Um, and I get to come back as Mr. Eyes. I see the world differently. And uh, the best part about it is, I get to see the world differently in recovery and uh, had that be a part of my company. And no one can cut corners on me. I can control quality, and you can tr control your quality of life. And that's what I want you to know. So close to the flames, we feel the heat from life. But recovery can take that pain away. Often leads us further away to a place of peace. Or you can look into a field once again and feel free.